Hi, my name is Noelle Batterton, and I am an instructor here at the Cooper YMCA, and we're getting ready to do a core and more class. It's a 30 minute workout where we work our abdominals, we work on balance, our lower back strength, which is really important in everyday health, and a lot of balance work. Um, we don't realize how our bodies get off balance sometimes. One side can be stronger than the others. So this will really help balance everything out and it just makes you feel strong and good. You have to have a good strong core to live a good strong life. All right guys, I'm just gonna give you a little, th uh, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna start with the right leg. We're gonna do five lunges forward on the right leg. Then we'll do five on the left and then we'll do five backward lunges on the right then five on the left, okay? That's how we're gonna start. We'll get warmed up. You guys got enough room? Make sure you got enough room behind you. Okay. All right, so right leg's gonna go back, right here. Two more. Here's two. Last one, other side. Left leg comes back. Three. Two, last one. Did we go forward? Let's go forward. Four, three, two, last one. Left leg forward. Three, two, last one. Right here in the center. Bring those legs out a little bit wide. Drop. Squeeze it up. Hold the abs in. A little squeeze at the top. Squeeze it. Eight more. Six. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it down and hold. Pulse. 10 more, eight, five, three, two, last one. March it out. Now we're gonna bring the knees up high. Lift, lift. Now we're gonna lean back a little bit push kicks. Bring that knee up and then snap it out. Eight. Six. Four. Two. We're going to march it out. Bring those legs out. Left arm, crunch and reach. You can bring a weight in here if you'd like for a little more. Working those obliques, getting them nice and warm. Ten. Eight. Three, two, excellent, other side. Right arm crunch and reach. Ten more, here's ten. Eight, six, Three, two, last one. Go ahead and bring those feet together. Let's inhale up. As you exhale, go ahead and round through that spine right here. Bring those arms back up, inhale. I'm gonna have you bring that left knee up. Bring those arms out. Nice balance right here. Take the knee out to the side. Feel that core tighten up. Bring it back to the center. 
back out to the side. And front. Go ahead and bring it down. Other knee comes up. Out to the side. Back to the center. One more time out. And back. And go ahead and bring that down. Let's inhale up. And let's go ahead and fall forward as you exhale. Keep a slight bend in your knees. Go ahead and place those hands above your knees. Slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. A couple shoulder rolls. We're gonna go ahead and take it to the floor. Keep your weights close, you'll be needing those. We're gonna start on our backs. We're gonna do a little series here. <clears throat> if you can, I'm gonna have you start out almost fully extended. Your toes are gonna to be up, so just your heels are on the floor. A Couple things I'd like you to focus on. Keeping that chest away from your chin, so don't tuck that chin in. Make sure you're breathing throughout every exercise because it's really easy to hold your breath. And most importantly, keep that neck relaxed because you're gonna put a lot of tension on your neck if you don't. Okay, if you have any questions, just holler. Bring those hands out behind your head. Elbows out wide. Toes are up. Go ahead and start lifting up and down right here. Trying to make sure that lower back is into the floor. No arching. 10 more like this. Here's 10. Five, three, two, hold it up, squeeze it. Maintaining that squeeze, go ahead and drop the feet to the floor, toes down, drop and lift. You should be feeling those abs starting to warm up, yes? Squeeze it. Here's 10. Five, four, two, last one. Hold it up, squeeze it. Holding that squeeze, bring the legs off the floor. Oh, body weight. Point or flex those feet just to keep those legs engaged, okay? Drop, squeeze it up. Drop and squeeze. Lower backs are pressed into the floor. Make sure you're breathing. Here's 10. Seven. Four. Three. Two, last one, hold it, squeeze. Release those hands, reach for your heels. Rest that head and neck back, hold that squeeze. Go ahead and relax, all the way extend. Stretch it out. How's that feeling so far? Good, excellent. All right, so I'm gonna have you bring your left hand behind your head. You can bring your left foot to the floor if it's more comfortable on your back, or you can keep it extended. I'm gonna have you bring that left elbow towards the right knee, extend the leg. If you keep your foot flexed, you're keeping that leg engaged more. Here's 10. Are you breathing? Six, five, three, two. Both feet to the floor, up in the center, up and down.
here's 10. Five. Two. Hold it up, squeeze it. Right hand stays behind your head. Bring it into that left knee, extend the leg. Keep that foot flexed. Ten more. Here's ten. Six. Three, two, last one. Go ahead and extend, take a stretch. Take a couple deep breaths here. This next one, if you choose, you can use a weight. You'll just need one. We're gonna start with it in our right hand. It's going to be over your head. So what you can do is for a little more comfort, bring that right foot to the floor and you're just going to bring that, that right arm to the left foot right here, cross it over your body, cross. The weights are optional. Ten more on this side. Here's ten. Eight. Five. Last two. Go ahead and take a quick stretch. You can switch arms. Left foot will come to the floor. Bring it up to meet that right foot. Ten more here. Here's ten. Eight. Four. Three. Last one. Go ahead and stretch it out. Couple deep breaths here. Now, if you choose, you can grab the other weight. We'll be using both weights. Always an option. I'm gonna have you lift your feet off the floor. Knees are together. Weights are right here. Just little pulses. Pulse. This is one where you really have to focus on relaxing that head and neck back. Try to find a place to focus out on the ceiling with your eyes. <sighs> Breathing, always. We got 20 more. Fourteen. Here's ten. Seven, four, two, hold that squeeze right here, squeeze it. Go ahead and extend it out, stretch it. I'm 
I'm gonna have you go ahead and bring both feet to the floor here. You can have them about hip width apart. Bring the weights down by your side, palms are facing in. Slow and control, we're just gonna lift those weights up over our head, all the way back. Bring them back. Working through those muscles that run between your ribs, your intercostal muscles. You should feel that working. This is a movement you want to take slow because you can really upset your shoulders if you try to do these too fast. We're gonna go for eight more. Here's six. Four. Last two. One more. Go ahead and set the weights down. Keeping those feet on the floor, I'm gonna have you lift your hips up. And I'm gonna have you bring the toes off the floor. So just your heels are digging into the floor right now. Hips are up. You're gonna drop, squeeze it up. Drop, squeeze. Abs are held in tight. You're gonna feel this working multiple things through your quads, your glutes, your lower back, your shins. Ten more like this. Eight. Six. Three. Two. You know the drill. Always hold it up on the last one. Hold it. Now I'm just going to have you alternate dropping those toes right here. Keeping that squeeze up. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it up. Go ahead and bring the toes to the floor so your feet are flat now. Drop. Squeeze it up. Drop. Oh, now you're feeling it in the hamstrings, I bet. Squeeze. Ten more. Here's 10. Six. Four. Two. Squeeze it up, hold it. Five more seconds, squeeze. Go ahead and slowly lower your hips. Pull your knees in. A little stretch. I'm gonna have you take your knees over to one side. Hands are behind your head. This is a real small movement. Just gonna lift up and down right here, up. Ten more. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Squeeze it up. Go ahead and relax. Bring the knees to the center. Hands come down by your side. You're going to lift for ten. Reach for the heels. 
reach. 10 more. Five, three, two, hold it. Go ahead and relax. Take the knees to the other side. And lift. Here's 10. Five, three, two, hold it up. Go ahead and release it. Bring the knees to the center. Go ahead and stretch it all the way out. Arms above your head. You can let that lower back come off the floor a little bit here. Now I'm gonna have you lift both legs straight up. Feet are flexed. And you're gonna reach for the toes. Reach. Here's 10, six, three, two, last one, hold it. Go ahead and relax, stretch it. So I'm gonna have you clasp your hands over your head. So you're kind of cradling your head between your biceps and you're just gonna lift the upper body right here. Lift. Make sure you're breathing. Ten more like this. Five. Two, hold it up, squeeze. Anybody feeling it? Yeah? Go ahead and relax. I know you'll feel this one. Hands stay clasped above your head. You're gonna lift the upper and lower body. It's real small, not very high. Just lift and lower, lift. If this bothers your back, you can just do one leg or you can just keep both legs on the, both feet on the floor and lift the upper body. Ten more. Six. Three. Two, hold it, squeeze. Go ahead and relax. Feet come to the floor. Hands are gonna come behind your head. I'm just gonna have you lift it up here in the center and you're gonna circle to the right, circle. Four more here. Now go the other direction, circle to the left.
four more. Two. Last one, hold it up here in the center. And go ahead and relax. This next one, I'm gonna have you take your arms, cross them over your shoulders, opposite shoulders. Bring your toes to the floor. These are called tiptoe crunches. Small movement right here. Up. You can bring your hands behind your head if that feels better. Ten. Three. Hold it up, squeeze it. Go ahead and relax. Stretch it all the way out. I'm gonna have you bring one foot to the floor across the opposite ankle over that knee. Figure four. Bring those knees into your chest. You should feel a good stretch through your hips and glutes right here. And go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and hug both knees in. I'm gonna have you take them around in a circle right here to the right. This should feel real good on your lower back. Other direction. Now, if you can, cross your ankles and grab the outsides of your ankles. Pull them in a little deeper. I'm gonna have you guys flip over onto your stomachs. Bring your forearms next to your ribs. Go ahead and press it up right here. And release. Press it up. If you can, go ahead and straighten your arms this time. You can tuck those toes and lift it up if you like. Slowly lower it. I'm gonna have you tuck your toes, press it up here into a down dog position. So it's an inverted V. Nice stretch to the back of your legs. Press that chest towards your knees. Trying to drop those heels towards the floor. I'm gonna have you lift the right leg up in the air bend that knee and open it up. Go ahead and bring it back to the center and down. Left leg comes up. Bend your knee, open it up. Bring it back down to the center. 
Go ahead and hover those knees right here. One last strength move. Go ahead and press it back up. Walk those hands into your feet. And slowly roll it up. Shoulder rolls. Go ahead and reach the fingertips to the floor, drop an ear to a shoulder. Roll it to the other side. Inhale up. As you exhale, go ahead and lean back, open up your arms. Bring those arms back up. Pull them down behind your head, press your elbows back. You can go ahead and bring your arms out or here in the center. Cross an ankle over a knee, sit down into that stretch. Another figure four, just a different way. It's perfect, Nancy. Oh, it feels so good on the hips and glutes. Up, other side. This is great balance work. You don't realize how much we use our core. How important it is. One more inhale up. Then let it all go. Thank you so much for being here today. I so appreciate it. Thank you.